guys welcome back to the greatest online ag show and look at these fantastic guys here we've brought along some giant african millipedes and they're wonderful of course we have millipedes in this country i think we have about 62 species of millipedes in this country but not as big as these guys and we've just been talking about with our cockroaches about cockroaches being so good for the forest floor and providing compost for the forest floor but these guys are doing exactly the same as well let me just move so that i'm not going to be in the way you see all of those legs moving it's like a mexican wave I'm doing a quick turn around look at that these guys are part of a family called myriapods which basically means many segments and they start out life with just a few segments and just as I said about our cockroaches, they have an exoskeleton. Well, every time these guys shed their exoskeleton as they're growing, they'll, uh, they'll grow another pod, another segment. And you can see they're made up of segments. Each of segment, if these segments are millipedes, have four legs. And you can see they never get, they, they, they always work in unison there. Millipedes have basic compound eyes, so... Um, the way that they will find, because they don't really need fantastic eyesight on the forest floor, it's very dark on the forest floor, so they will actually use their antennae to feel their way. Decided to, to, to curl up in a ball now, said I don't want to go anywhere now. So they'll use their antennae to feel their way. Let me just see if they'll come out and say hello. Now, these guys are fascinating. They do actually give off um, a slight toxin, a cyanidic toxin. It's perfectly safe for us to be able to hold them. But we've noticed that the capuchin monkeys actually rub millipedes on their bodies to provide some relief against insects. Let's put this guy down. He's with his friends there. And they do like to be nice and moist. Because when they don't want to do anything, what they will do is just roll up into a ball. They are herbivores, so they like to eat plant matter. So they'll be roaming about on the forest floor eating the plant matter. So all the rotten vegetation and decomposting the, the forest floor. Now, all of those legs come in really useful because the forest floor isn't even. Uh, they may need to go upside down in several occasions. So having this many legs gives them ability to be able to move upside down as well. And of course, those legs actually have hooks on them. You see those antennae moving again there. To get a gauge of how um, millipedes move along, what we normally say to our audience is, close your eyes and feel with your hands because this is what these guys are actually doing they're feeling their way well they're all coming out now brilliant fantastic so when we put a, a millipede on our hands we can feel them they tickle they tickle our hands and uh, are very interesting to meet so we do have lots of animals here at creature arc uh, do come back and visit us we're going to be showing some more videos very shortly